In this video, I'm going to show you how to merge cells inside of Smartsheet. Now, it's important to understand that Smartsheet is not a typical spreadsheet application. It's more of a database type application with some spreadsheet functionality, such as formulas and so forth. Um, however, it doesn't work like Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets, where you can just select two cells and hit a, a merge button to merge those two together. And so you don't have that same kind of access. Now, if you are trying to see more information because you want to merge two cells to see more text, um, then you can just click over one of the columns and drag them over and see that text. So if we type in, um, this is a very, very long sentence and you can resize these columns. Now, for some reason that's getting cut off and you don't see that, but you want to keep the column kind of small, you can go up to this button and hit the wrap button here in the top toolbar and that will wrap the text for you. So as you make it bigger or smaller, you will be able to see that text. So if one of the problems that you're running into is that you would like uh, to see more text on the screen and you are trying to merge cells for that reason, using the wrap function may help you out. Now, the other thing that you might want to do is you want, might want to combine um, data from two separate cells. And so let's say that we had apples and oranges and you wanted to have a cell that referenced those two together. Well, we could just use a simple formula by hitting the equal sign and then selecting the first uh, column there and then hitting the plus sign and then selecting the second column and then hitting the enter or return key. And what that does is that formula, uh, column three one plus column three two, is going to merge or copy that information together. And so that is one way that you are able to uh, combine information in two separate cells. Now, if you wanted to space these apart, you could click on that uh, formula and in between we need to put a space. And so what we would say is column three one plus, and let's do quotation marks, and then let's put a space and then quotation marks and then we need to add the other side. So we'll put another plus sign and hit enter. You will see that we have that space there. And so that's the column plus a space plus the other column gives us that information. And so you could do this as many times as you wanted to. So let's say we wanted to add in bananas here. We could click on that. And now this time we will say plus quotation space quotation for a space and then plus and then we'll hit that last column and hit enter. Oh, that will be column three, three. So that's column three, one plus a space plus column three, two plus a space plus column three, three. And that gives us the information combined together in a formula. And of course the wrapping is still on. So if we bring this in, you will see that information is being wrapped but it's referencing these. So if we were to change one of these out and let's say this is now pairs, it will change that information for us. So there is no um, absolute way to merge cells that you might be used to if you're used to Microsoft Excel or something like Google Sheets. Um, however, with these workarounds, hopefully you can find one of these methods that can work for you on what you're trying to accomplish.